Greetings and good day. This is Donnie with TechWinner, and thank you so much for joining me today. Well, guys, if you've been following the channel for any amount of time, you noticed that I took a little bit of a break. Well, guys, I wasn't just completely off during that time. I was working on a project and one that I am so excited to now share with you. Yes, I replaced my ring alarm keypad where I had it mounted on the wall with an iPad that has control not only over the ring alarm system, but also my cameras, my thermostats, my garage door openers, my front door, my vacuum, and all of my smart lighting as well. So without any further ado, I want to walk you through this project. So let's dive in and let's take a look. So guys, I have seen where several other people have done something similar to what I'm going to be showing you um, that it really inspired me to go down this path. I've always wanted to have an iPad or some sort of a tablet that was mounted to the wall that had more controls over the home automation things throughout my house. Mostly so you're not limited to things like voice commands or maybe just one or two people like my wife and myself and our smartphones and be able to turn things on and off or just the light switches themselves, but just having that single central place to where you can control everything. So it's still a work in progress, but I'm far enough along that I'm happy to share with you the results of what I've done here. So guys, before we go any further, I do want to just tell you there's several different ways that you can solve what I've done here. I'm going to talk very briefly today about the solution I came up with, and that is called Home Assistant. Home Assistant is a bit more advanced. I am not a coder by experience. I've learned a lot of things along the way. I know enough to be dangerous, but I was able to get integrations with all of my smart stuffs across my house underneath the umbrella of Home Assistant. There are some other great solutions out there if you are somebody who uses ALEXA or uses Google or uses Samsung SmartThings. Yes, I know I, in different aspects, I've used all of the above for different projects. Um, Apple HomeKit is another great solution out there, but Home Assistant, it's open source. There's this great user community and it works with so many different tools and solutions, including Ring. So yes, for me, a huge selling point here was that it actually integrates with my Ring Alarm keypad, which was a huge deal. So just kind of thinking through where I wanted to mount this, I didn't want to have it just sitting like another thing that I was adding to the wall. I wanted to take something away to be able to replace it with this tablet. So where that ring keypad is actually located in my house is in a very high traffic, very central location between like the kitchen and the bonus room and the stairs that go down to the garage, which is usually how we come in and out of the house. It's kind of that first thing that you see. So I love the first impression. Now, not just being that ring alarm keypad, which yes, I love ring, but that first gen keypad, it's not consistent with anything else in their design language and I was so ready to replace it. So guys, I spent a lot of time during just my Christmas break working through the, some of these integrations. Home Assistant does make it great because you set it up on basically a dedicated system, dedicated server, a Raspberry Pi, a laptop, a computer. There's lots of different ways that you can go about doing that. But then basically you can build out dashboards that are completely custom you have complete control over what you can do with it and where you can place things. So it's still a work in progress, what I'm showing you here. I've also kind of blanked out some things that are a little bit more personal in this as well. So some of those blank squares that you're seeing, they actually have been filled in, but I feel like this is gonna be something I'm gonna to continue to work on for the days, months, and years to come. But talking about the tablet itself, there's lots of different ways you can go about this. Home Assistant basically works with any browser. They also do have a dedicated app that works with both iPad OS, iOS as well, and then Android as well. For me, we're very much into Apple products in my house, so I liked being able to leverage an iPad for this. I did do a ton of research about tablet mounts themselves, and I actually landed on a company called Vitabox. And yes, they are not a sponsor of this. I paid for this project completely out of pocket, and basically they have a product called Vitamount that works with all different kinds of iPads, not only brand new models, but also some used ones and older models as well. So I started doing some shopping, looking for some aftermarket iPads as well, just to see what might be out there. And just with the different aesthetics in the house, I wanted to get something that still had like that white bezel on it, which meant probably something that was gonna be a little bit older. A lot of the newer Pro models and Air models, they have a black bezel, now it does have the nice edge to edge screen, but I wanted to get something with like that white aesthetic and like a mount that was white as well. So it would match the trim that's in the house. Um, it just seems to make a lot more sense. Another thing that I was very mindful of was I wanted to try to incorporate this as closely into the color of the walls as well. So I actually went out and found the, the color code for my Sherwin-Williams paint and I actually incorporated that into the background of that dashboard as well. But guys, I did some hunting and I was able to find a used iPad Pro 10.5. Now this is like the 2017 model. So it is at the time of the making of this video about five years old. 
but Apple continues to stand by many of their products. It's still getting the latest version of iPad OS. And even if that changes in the near future, I have every reason to believe Home Assistant will continue to support it. I can use it in a browser. For my use and purposes here, I'm using the Home Assistant app. It just allows me to lock it down a little bit more. I also have it in what iPad calls guided access control, but you're able to lock it down completely. Next, let's talk a little bit about the install itself and I'll tell you all of my price investment in this as well. So I talked about in an earlier video when I reviewed my Ring Alarm system that I was able to actually repurpose some existing wiring from a really old alarm system that I'm pretty sure is original to this house that was built in the early 80s, but it was 12 volt and I used what's called a buck converter to basically step that 12 volt down to five volts, which then I could use a micro USB cable to plug into the back of the ring alarm keypad. So that keypad basically stayed charged all the time. So I already have low voltage that's going to this location. So I just wanted to continue to use that existing wiring. So I just found a micro USB to USB A adapter, which then could be plugged into just a standard lightning cable which could then be used just to charge up this iPad. Some of you may be concerned about having an iPad plugged in all the time. Actually, since about iOS 11.3, they've done a whole bunch of upgrades to the battery management to where keeping an iPad plugged in all the time is not near the risk that it may have been in the past. So as you can see here, I got the Vita mount in the mail and I was able to do this install here. So as I'm removing that old keypad, you can kind of see some of that cabling. I'm gonna kind of let it just hang off here. I wanted this to be centered. It's kind of in this weird spot because there's some steps that go up towards our bonus room here. But basically, as you can see with this Vita mount, there is basically four screws and anchors that mount it to the wall. And with a quick measurement using my level, just making sure everything was level and good, I was able to just use some of those screws to poke into those holes to give me a little bit of a pilot hole, drilled them out, put the anchors into the wall, and then I just went on ahead and just tightened those down by hand as you can see here. But man, the nice thing about actually connecting this iPad in and mounting it is it is nice and snug in this mount. I'm incredibly impressed with this product. It gives you some nice space on the edge there as well to be able to get that lightning cable tucked back in there. And there's just a little bit of dead space behind it to where that cable management can be handled in a, a meaningful way to where it's not getting pressed. The, the cable stays nice and healthy and secure. Healthy cables, healthy iPad. But as you can see here, just placing that cover into place, basically it's just these snaps and the same kind of snaps that you'd have on like a jacket or something like that. And they just snap into place and it's nice and snug. And guys, this finished product here, you can see for its, it really does speak for itself. Clean, very elegant. And just looking at some of these controls as well, you can see those lighting controls, just it's right off of that bonus room. Just so just kind of pressing that bonus room button, you can see there's also some dimming controls that I've programmed in there as well. So then in that middle security column, there's controls over the ring alarm system. And then you can also see those six ring cameras as well. I've got a setup to where if you tap on one of them, you can go into a live view of those cameras as well. And just kind of featuring that garage door as well. Again, MyQ, fantastic product completely integrates with Home Assistant. I have mine set up to where if you just double tap it on the screen, you can toggle between open and closed as well. As you can see here, just that live demo then pulling up my ring camera that I have in the garage. Beautiful, elegant experience. So guys, this was a pretty intensive project actually building out this dashboard. And again, it's probably gonna be something that I'm gonna continue to fine tweak and just make adjustments to in the days, weeks, months, perhaps years to come as well. So let's talk a little bit about the price of this. Again, no sponsors here. I paid for this all out of pocket, but the iPad Pro 10.5, which actually would have been purchased originally in 2017, I paid $125 for. The Vita mount. So there are many, many, many different options that were on the market for this, but guys, I decided to go with one that I thought was gonna be the most aesthetically pleasing. As you can see here, just that nice snug fit it has to the wall. It's about a half inch thick off of the wall. It's actually thinner than the ring keypad that it replaced. So it was a bit more of an investment. All in with shipping and tax, my cost there was $141. So guys, all in here, I did invest $266 in this project, but guys, that finished product really does speak for itself. And again, Home Assistant is just one solution to getting to the end result that you're seeing here. There's lots of different ones that you could use. Apple HomeKit coming to mind, the actual ALEXA app. You could toggle between multiple different smart home apps, but I like being able to have it all here on this single screen that I have in that guided access mode, so you can't actually get out of it. You can't get too lost on the iPad. 
But guys, let me know in the comments if you've done something similar. I'd love to hear about it. And let me know if you want to hear a little bit more about the behind the scenes of building some of this stuff out in Home Assistant. If that's something you guys are interested in, it's something we could definitely talk about doing in the future. Thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already, I'd ask you to consider liking and subscribing and hitting that bell notification so that you're always staying up to date with new content as it's uploaded. But for now, I'm Donnie with Tech Winner, helping you make winning decisions when it comes to your tech. You guys, have a great day. Thank <music> you.